Hey guys, it's Julie with Julie's Designs. I'm in my kitchen and tonight I'm gonna to be trying something new. I've been doing a lot of stuff with glass lately and how I have been doing it is I've been using my paint marker that I usually use and then I would seal it with um, a sealer. And that's been working out fine, but when you put the sealer on glass, it gives it kind of a frosted effect. So I wanted to try something different I found this glass paint pen on Amazon and I'm gonna try it out tonight on this piece that somebody wants. They want me to write sweet treats on it. Now the pen says to clean the surface, which I've already done, to shake well, activate by pressing down until color appears. So that's the same way as a paint pen. And then you have to let it cure for eight hours. Then you bake it on 375 for 40 minutes and then it should be dishwasher safe. So I'm gonna try this out and go through all those steps and we'll see if it works. Okay, shake it. And I'm gonna treat this just like a sign. I'm gonna have my template that I already made and I'm gonna use the carbon paper to transfer it. And then hopefully it paints just like my paint pens. And then I can let it dry overnight, then put it in the oven for 40 minutes. And then I can let y'all know how this works out if I like it. And I'll let y'all know either way. Okay. Is it coming out? All right, here's coming. So you just shake it. It's just like when you open up a paint pen. You shake it and then you push it down on a piece of paper or a napkin until the tip turns black. Okay. It looks like it's going to write pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to... I don't need the top. I'm going to tape my template down onto my door. You wanna make sure it's even. And this is just one I uh, printed out on the computer. It says, sweet treats. And then she wants the top of the jar to be blue distressed. So I still have to go paint this cap, but before I put any more work into it, I want to make sure this works. Okay, let me make sure this is straight. It's quick, but you definitely want to make sure it's straight. Okay. So the carbon paper will transfer it to the glass, and then I can paint it from there. This is how I make all my signs and all my projects. I create a design on the computer, then I print it out. Then I use the carbon paper to transfer it onto the piece. Then I use my paint pen to draw it. So I'm gonna put the white down so you can really see it. Can y'all see it on there? It's faint, but it's there. It's enough for me to work with. Okay, use my paint pen. I'm gonna make sure to keep this so that I don't forget the directions. And you just want to go as steady as possible. Glass is definitely a little more slippery than wood. And this may be difficult as, at first, but like anything else, the more you do it, the easier it becomes and the better you get at it. I 
think that came out pretty good. It's kind of, oh wait, I forgot the S. It's kind of coming up, like bubbling up. So I'm gonna let it dry for a little while and then go over it again and see what happens. So far it's definitely not working as great as my paint pan. But if I don't bake it, hopefully I can just pull it off. If I don't like the way it looks because this piece is already sold. So I definitely don't wanna mess this up. Okay, I'm gonna stop messing with it. I'm gonna let it dry and see if I can kind of touch up the spots where it's not quite as perfect, where it kind of bubbled up. I don't know if you can see that. It's not focusing. I like very clean lines. So I'm not liking the way, way this turns out. My paint pen definitely comes out better. But if it can dry and I can fix these imperfections, then I will do that. So I'm going to let it dry overnight and see how it looks in the morning and decide from there what I want to do. And I will definitely let y'all know if this is a paint pen you should use or I'm giving it a thumbs down or a thumbs up pretty much. Okay? I will let y'all know. I followed all the directions on the packaging and this piece is done. I had a little bit of a rough start with the pen but I was able to fix everything. What I did was I let it dry for 20 minutes and then I went back and just very lightly went over and smoothed out my lines. And it could have bubbled up because I didn't clean it good enough so next time I'll make sure it is very clean. It is also easy to fix any problems it wipes away very easy before it dries so any imperfections I had I just cleaned with a paper towel or with my fingernail I was able to wipe it off and fix with the ink pen and then I let it dry overnight and I baked it like the directions said and now it is nice and hard it is not coming off so I feel good Giving this piece to my customer, knowing that the lettering will not be coming off. This is a product I will definitely use again. I look forward to doing more glass products. And I know that the more I use this pen, the easier it'll get for me. You have to expect to have a little bit of an issue when you're first using a product. But the more you use it, the more comfortable you get with it, and the easier it'll be. I was able to get the nice smooth lines I like in my products. And I'll have to check to see, they may have different colors as well. I wanted black so that's what I looked for. So I'm going to look for more colors and I'll put the link below to the pen that I used. I just ordered it off of Amazon. I believe it was around $4. Please like and subscribe to Julie's Designs and Signs for more DIY inspiration and home videos.